During the year-long war, Ukraine has been asking the US and other allies for military aircraft. President Biden has so far refrained from giving the go-ahead for fighter jets to be sent to Ukraine. But a group of senators from the United States last month urged Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin to look into the possibility of doing so, arguing that Ukraine is at a critical juncture in the conflict and may need air power to win. Due to how well Western air defense systems work, the Russian Air Force hasn't been able to take control of the airspace over Ukraine yet, even though it has a big advantage in both numbers and capabilities over the Ukrainian Air Force, which uses mostly Soviet-era planes. But this is very thin ice, and the next few months will be decisive in this war. Meanwhile, the U.S. is working with Ukrainian pilots in the United States to determine how long it would take to train them to fly F-16 fighter jets. This is Military Mechanics, and today we will take a look at the F-16 Fighting Falcon. The F-16, originally called the Fighting Falcon, but known as the Viper among its pilots, is a compact, multi-role fighter aircraft that is highly maneuverable and has proven itself in air-to-air -air combat and air-to-surface attack. Originally built by the US in a consortium with Belgium, Denmark, the Netherlands and Norway, the F-16 became one of the most popular military aircraft of all time as it provides a relatively low-cost, high-performance weapon system for the United States and its allied nations. The F-16 is capable of traveling at twice the speed of sound or approximately 1,500 miles per hour. It can fly up to a height of 50,000 feet and has a maximum range of about 2,000 miles. The aircraft's combat radius is approximately 340 miles. This performance is largely due to its powerful engine. The F-16AB models are powered by a single Pratt & Whitney F-100 PW200-220 turbofan engine that can generate up to 23,770 lbf of thrust while the F-16CD models use the more advanced F-100PW220E engine, which can generate up to 29,160 lbf of thrust. The F-16's most innovative design feature is its fly-by-wire control system, which was the first on any aircraft. This system allows for precise and responsive handling and enhances the aircraft's maneuverability. In a normal plane, the pilot moves a control wheel or stick connected to the plane's elevator, ailerons and rudder. But in the F-16, a computer moves the control surfaces in response to electronic input from the pilot's control stick. This innovation allowed the F-16 to be designed with negative stability, which makes it more maneuverable as the F-16's quadruple redundant fly-by-wire computer automatically makes constant split-second corrections to keep the plane stable. The maneuverability of the F-16 is also aided by aerodynamics, as the F-16 wing experiences less vortex lift, which prevents it from stalling at the high angles of attack needed for difficult maneuvers. These important features enable F-16 to maneuver at up to 9 Gs, which allows it to turn tighter than other fighters. The F-16's armament includes a 20mm M61A1 Vulcan cannon with 511 rounds of ammunition. The cannon can fire up to 6,000 rounds per minute and has a range of approximately 4,000 feet. The F-16 can carry a wide range of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, including the AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missile, or AMRAM, the AIM-9 Sidewinder, the AGM-88 High-Speed Anti-Radiation Missile, or HARM, and the AGM-65 Maverick, among others. It can also carry a variety of bombs, including laser-guided bombs. 
Today's F-16, the Block 7072, is the most advanced fourth generation fighter ever built and brings a new level of capability to air forces around the world. It is estimated that the F-16 has logged 19.5 million flight hours and has participated in at least 13 million sorties. At least five nations will begin using the most recent model, the Block 7072, which will be operational by the middle of the 2020s and has capabilities that are unmatched in the industry. The US has provided Ukraine with other forms of military assistance. But providing fighter jets is still a touchy subject due to concerns that it would intensify the conflict with Russia. Giving Ukraine access to air power, however, might turn the tide of the conflict and stop Russia from being so aggressive.